Hey friends, how are you today? I hope you're having a good day so far. Today's video is a review on the wig that I'm wearing here. And this is Adeline by Renee of Paris. And I have Adeline in the color Ginger Brown. Ginger Brown is just described as a medium auburn blended evenly with medium brown. So I wouldn't say that I look at this color and think auburn. Okay, I really don't. I think brown with some just lighter kind of like caramel highlights maybe, but I definitely don't get like auburn vibes so much, but it's a really pretty color. I really do like the color. And I think someone asked me a while back, I had I did the review on Mariko's Alba, and that is in the color Red Brown, and someone said they couldn't find a Red Brown, and was I sure that it wasn't Ginger Brown? Definitely not. I can do a comparison on those two colors if you want, because you know, Noriko, Renee of Paris, and isn't there one other one? That's the um, Adirans group, and their colors are, I guess, they're the same. So yeah, so this one is ginger brown, definitely not red brown as the other one um, was the Alba, but it's a really, really pretty color. Color aside, let's talk about the actual wig. It's a really cute wig. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that. Let me show you the picture. I'm looking at the Name Brand Wigs website because that's where I purchased this. And this is the stock photo. As you can see, there is not that much curl like there is in the stock photo. As soon as I got it, I kind of saw that and I sprayed it with cold water, hung it upside down, you know, kind of scrunched it up a little bit and nothing happened. This is what has happened. I've worn this wig once, I think just like out to eat or something. I haven't worn it to work. I really like it. It's cute. I like the little, you know, waves. I do wish that it had more curl in it. I feel like Denise did a review. Denise is one of our wig sisters. She did a review on Adeline and I feel like hers had more curl in it. So I was kind of disappointed in that because that's what I was wanting. And you'll see in just a minute, the back doesn't have really any curl to it. This is what the back looks like in the stock photo. So very different from what this one looks like. Okay, so let me just give you some specs about it. There is a lace front. It's okay, it's a decent lace front. Yeah, I'm not disappointed with it. There is a left side monofilament uh, part, so not a full mono top. Over here is permatees. I feel like there's like this big bump right here. There's permatees there. I'm not gonna say that it's like big and pillowy permatease, but there is permatease pretty much throughout. I think if you didn't have it, it would just be like this, you know what I mean? So you kinda need it in a way, and the hair density is fine. I mean, it's not like super thick or anything like that, so, so that's good. The ear tabs, I mean, I always have this issue with ear tabs, um, or not with ear tabs, but with my hair. So of course you can see my gray hair here and you know, it doesn't really come, it comes to about right there. So I just tuck my hair under and just don't worry about it. The, the time that I actually wore this, I used just a little pin and pinned it here. I have one here, so I'll just do it the best I can without looking. But I just pinned it out of my face. Y'all know I can't stand anything in my face. Um, this right here, I feel like it does bug me. I like how it kind of mimics almost like a cowlick or something because I have cowlicks all over my head, so I'm kind of used to that. I do like that, but I would just want it to stay. So I could just put a little bit of Peace Out Cream right there and kind of make it stay or maybe just try to figure out, okay, does it need to really go over here or what needs to happen? But that's kind of bugged me a little bit when I, when I wore it. The hair fibers feel really dry. I kind of just very easily used my little comb before I uh, sprayed it with water. 
and I feel like they just feel really dry. This one has shed a lot. It's still shedding. I mean, you can you see that? It's still shedding. Stick that over there so I can put that in the trash. Also, this is just kind of interesting. You see, there are these long pieces right there. So I need to get some scissors and just cut that because if I wear this again and I know that they're there, it's gonna drive me insane. So I'm just gonna have to cut that right there. You can kind of see over here, like, I don't feel like, I mean, yeah, there's movement like this, but you can just see that they're dry. Maybe I just need to give it a bath and do, do a real con good conditioning, maybe some fabric softener or whatever. Maybe it would make it better. I could have returned this wig, but it's still shedding. Um, I got this one on clearance at Name Brand Wigs. They have a really good return policy. If you've never purchased anything from Name Brand Wigs, you should go check them out because they have super fast shipping. Usually when I order something, if it's during the week, they send it on the same day that I order it. I mean, they are like Johnny on the spot. But their return policy, you can even return clearance wigs, which I think is awesome because I don't know of any other company that you can do that. I don't know of any other one. I could have returned it, but I was like, you know what? I really like the style, so I'm gonna try to work with it. And that's why I just really wanted to keep it just to try to work with it. Let me show you Adeline on all sides, and then I will show you the cap. This is my left side. This is my right side. Let me just show you some of the dimensions. The bangs here are seven, seven and a half. So seven and a half inch bang. The crown is 11, so back here, 11 inches back there. And then the nape is four inches. It weighs 3.17 ounces. I really like that it's a good length. They don't give you really the sides. I guess maybe it's all one length but I like that it hits me just right above the shoulders. So it's not really going to brush against my clothes that much. So I like that. It's a really good length, I think. Let's look at the inside of the cap. So there is the lace front. It's temple to temple there. And that's that monofilament side part there. And then you have the rose lace, which, you know, there's permatease in there. It's not super billowy permatease, but it definitely is in there. As I'm looking at it now, I'm seeing a little more of the red, red to it. But like I said before about the color, I wouldn't say that I feel like it's like a super auburny color. In the back, I said I would show you. There's no curl. I mean, it's basically straight and then curls under just a little bit. There's a tad bit of curl there, you know, at the sides, kinda. But yeah, no, no curl. This was a, um, a clearance piece. Maybe that's why the person returned it because it came, you know, like that from the factory. As far as stretchiness, it's fairly stretchy, I would say, fairly stretchy. It doesn't have an extended nape, but this is the four inches that we were talking about just a few minutes ago. It has pull strap adjusters, which def definitely aren't my favorite, but I don't find an issue with these. They're just regular. Uh, the Ear tabs are nice and soft. The little metal part that's in there is not super strong, okay? So just so you know that it's not, you can see that, it's not super strong at all. All right, y'all, I just kind of threw it back on, but that is my review of Adeline. Um, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna work with it. There's a review on Name Brand Wigs and it's a five-star review, and the lady says she loves, loves this wig, but she does a lot of stuff to it. Like, she washes it, she said, with Prell, and then she puts hot rollers in it, and, like, she does a lot of stuff to it. And she said it's her favorite wig. Now, I believe that. I believe that you probably can do a lot of stuff with this wig and get it to be an awesome one, but it is going to take some work. So, just keep that 
in mind. I'm trying to see if this is heat friendly. Okay, it doesn't say that it's heat friendly, so I'm gonna guess that it's not because usually it will say if it's heat friendly and it doesn't say. If you get this one and wanna use heat on it, you just have to be really careful. I would, you know, do a patch back here or something before you actually put it anywhere on, on the hair that you can actually see. So just be really careful with that if you're gonna do that. But that's my review. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions for me, let me know down below and I'll try to answer those for you. Also, let me know if you wanna see a comparison of the red brown color and the ginger brown color and I can do that for you. Thank you again, have a great day and I will talk to you soon, bye.